Hello everybody, hello, and welcome to my page. My name is Tammy Neff, and you are on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage, and I'm going live here tonight as part of an event in the Sparkle Room. And the event is called um, Sparkle in Whoville. And so I have a very sweet friend who is going to join me here on my page. Well, actually, she's kind of going to just take over. And she is going to do the event. It's a very special guest. And I think that you all will be um, thrilled to meet her and to see what she's going to make. Um, uh, we've made this project in my group like last year. Hi, Terry Reno. Hi, friend. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nerve-wracking when you do these events uh, but I have another minute or so before I go um, they'll share me into the group um, Kathy D. Domenico is just finishing up for Royal Funky Junk and then I'm following her which is quite a tough act to follow hi mom there's my mom oh thank you mom <laughs> I love seeing hi Penny thank you for being here I love you guys saying hello I appreciate your support I'm kind of nervous so anyway I think it's getting close it looks like it's getting really close so let me go invite my friend in I'll wait and watch for um Kathy's invitation. Oh, and there's Shayla. Hi, friend. Hi, you guys. Hi, Susie. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lorraine. Uh, I'm just waiting a little bit until we get called in, um, until they call us over into the group, and then I'll be ready to fly. Uh, but be, not, be kind to my friend who's coming to craft with you tonight. I think you're going to love what she's going to do, and I'm going to introduce her. Well, she'll probably want to introduce herself, um, but just know that she's a dear friend of mine, and I love her style, and I love her taste, and I, th oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. That's just exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> makes my heart pitter pat so anyway um join me here my name is tammy neff again you're in my group or in my on my page called tammy loves vintage and um hey hey cindy what do you say friend hi honey hi cheryl hi you guys thanks for being here um let me step out and get myself ready for you um there's judy i'm waiting to pass this over to my friend oh here she comes she just walked in so come and help me uh, hi, Chris Hunter. Come and help me, friends. Uh, invite my um, my dear friend who's coming to craft with you girls tonight. I'm going to step aside. Um, come on in, uh, Martha May. Come on in. Come on in, friend. So, hello. Hello. My name is Martha May. Uh, Martha May Huvier, actually. And I live in Whoville, and I'm a very good friend, right? I'm a good friend of Tammy's. And um, she and I have a lot in common. You may not know this, but um, in Whoville, there's a certain style that you have to um, sort of maintain. You know that I am dating um, the, uh, the mayor of the town. Um, his name is Augustus Mayhew. And Augustus is um, a very handsome fellow. Um, he's a little moody, but most men are, right? And so... Um, one thing that I like about Augustus is that he lets me have my own style in my home. And outside, I am all bling and crazy and lights and, and all of this sort of fanfare. But inside my home, not many people know this. Tammy knows. She's been to my house before in Whoville. And we've uh, done some shopping together. But I love vintage. Just like Tammy loves vintage, I love vintage too. And Augustus is okay. He's kind of vintage himself, actually. And um, anyway, the only the only thing about Augustus, he absolutely hates the Grinch. And you know, I have quite a pitter pat for the Grinch. We girl chat about it all the time. I just find him fascinating. I think he is absolutely uh, hot. <laughs> if I could, if, can you say that right here? <laughs> I love that green fur. I mean, and the muscles, please, right? I'm telling you, <sighs> right? <laughs> Tammy doesn't see it. She kind of picks on me, but um, she thinks I should probably stick with Augustus because he's a little nicer. The Grinch can be so grumpy, but you know, when you're hot, who cares, <laughs> right? You can just ignore him. It's what I do. <laughs> anyway, okay. So Tammy and I were shopping. She asked me to come and craft with all of her friends tonight in a special group that is called Sparkle in Whoville. 
and um, there is a there's a page I guess on Facebook called the Sparkle Room, and they wanted to kick off the holiday season right after Thanksgiving, and they decided to call it Sparkle in Whoville. So, who would be better than Martha May Huvier to um, you know bring it <laughs> right? I think I think so. So anyway, there's been a lot of crafters ahead of me. Um, Tammy said they've been doing really cool things, but um, yeah, let's just see what I'm going to do. <laughs> so keep it in mind, keep it in mind, friends. I love vintage, but don't tell a lot of people because everyone thinks I'm quite um, splashy, and uh, I am outside, but in my home, I love vintage. So. I was shopping with Tammy. I went to see her and we went up to Amish country in Ohio and we found this branch. Now I was looking for sort of a tree, but in Whoville, everything's always a little unusual. And so I thought this, this is my tree. I absolutely love it. Um, of course I can bling out the, the wooden vase, but I kind of like it just like this. I cut the branch apart. It was a big, long branch, and I added it in here, and I have it very wispy looking, okay? So stick with me because I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring in some Whoville friends into this um, project. So that is my, like, foundation, I guess you would say, for uh, my project. So, um... We have a couple of antique shops near Whoville, nothing inside of Whoville because it's just not their style, but I sneak over there every once in a while and do a little shopping. And I found this little cluster of people. And don't they just remind you of the Whovillians <laughs> that live in my town? Hi, you guys. Hello. Hi, friends of Tammy. Hi. Hi, Tammy. Everyone is saying hello. I hope you can see over there. Put your wine glass down and pay attention. She's always drinking wine. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> anyway, oh, you girls, we could dish, right? We could dish. Uh, anyway, I've been antique shopping in Who, or not in Hulu, but right outside of Whoville. I found these cute little people that are like, someone has gone to the trouble years ago to make them just look like all of the people that live in Whoville. Then I went on Etsy and I found these pixie party toppers i didn't open it because i wanted you to see it really is old and they're called pixie party toppers and so i ordered them um of course tammy's paying me back for all of this right <laughs> not if i'm keeping it well we're, we'll have to fight over our over our project when we're finished so okay here are the little pixie people now listen you can um you can use all sorts of heads, any sort of picks like this for our project, any kind of cupcake toppers, um, anything like this. But I really picked what I was doing for this. Here's a great one. For my project, I picked what I was going to do for Tammy uh, based on these um, Whoville people. Um, I don't know any of them. They're probably all dead and gone by now. They're pretty old. <laughs> if you can see. So anyway, I want to make some vintage ornaments, some real vintage ornaments. And I'm hoping that you all will like these. And I'm going to tell you they're very simple to make. We have made them in um, Tammy's private group before, but it's been about a year now. And so it's time to uh, whip these babies out again and show you. So you can buy, oh, I guess I've stained all of these. You can buy these pipe cleaners that are furry. Um, I just ran down. We have a craft shop at Whoville. It's just kind of right on the edge of town. And um, it's called Hobby Lobby. And um, I love to go into Hobby Lobby. And you can find in with the pipe cleaner section these. Um, and you can find these. I should have brought the, the original. These were very white. Um, and I and I stained them with an antiquing spray and then they had white ones and I uh, tea stained these to make them look a little more vintage so I'm using new products or items for my foundation but I'm trying to make them look a little vintage right okay so um, oops I've already taste so I took one and I cut it in half 
right? And you're going to use both pieces. Let me put you down here just a little. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. I have this folder here. Um, you can also use paper faces like these that we use. Um, we're using these in uh, Tammy's group. Um, she was showing me some of the people that she was making in her group. These are really, look at that. These are really, really awesome. And so we've been making these in, in her group. Um, and they're really cute. And they're all those paper faces like that. But you can also do, which is going to be much easier of a project, much quicker. Um, we're going to also be doing this project um, that you can use paper faces. You can use new. Let me, okay, let me see. Did I make a paper face? Here. So this is what we're going to be making little people like this. And this little fellow has a paper face, just like the um, spun the spun cotton Santas. Um, these are pipe cleaner Santas, and we're going to be making like this. Okay, then um, you can also do new faces, like if you wanna just go to the hobby store and find little things like this, you can, um, you can do that as well. And then what I did with these, let me show you, I've done two of them. Um, I pulled these uh, off of my tree at home because I really want to do this new thing. And then I just made them look old by adding some, um, actually I added wool, some actual real wool. Um, one of my followers knows, um, uh, let's see, somebody said they're creepy. They are, but they're very vintage looking. If you look up vintage Santas, this is what you're going to find. So I, I was at, I don't even remember where I was, but they had some actual wool and I thought that would make their faces look um, more vintage. So we've been using that wool on some of our projects in the group, but um, I'm not going to, well, unless I do one of those Santas, we'll see. Um, let me show you a couple more. So here, he's not creepy. <laughs> I used a snowman head from that Hobby Lobby store. I found a little snowman head, added some snowballs, and then here's an old Santa face that I did and then what inspired me was I was shopping in an antique store and I found this very old, now this one is an original and I didn't touch it, I didn't do anything to it. Um, it has the tiny tree and it's all made out of these old pipe cleaners. So this one was very, very, very old and that's what inspired me. So anyway, like I said, I hopped online, I found these people and um, I thought it would be fun because they're going to have some funky colors and stuff going on. So, well, maybe I better just use these. I don't want to cut those pipe cleaners. I might be able to use them. Let's do him. We'll just do the very first one on the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the stem off. It shouldn't hurt too much. There you go. And then we've got our pipe cleaners that we cut in half, okay? And then you're going to take one, your first one, and you're going to line up so that they're at the same bottom. You're going to grab a hold of it and you're going to spin it, leaving a loop like that. Okay. You've got a loop there like that. All right. So then you're going to take another and you're just going to lay it just below the loop and you're going to wrap it around all the way. And then you're going to wrap it around all of the way. Now listen, it doesn't matter if you go above or below or however you want to do it, um, but you're going to do that. And this is what you're gonna have, a little muscle man, right? <laughs> okay, all right. Then you can make him like, you know, hey dude, you can make him wave, you can make him, you know, hold, hold something or whatever, like, let's see, did I show you the one? Yeah, I did, where he was holding the books or, you know, here the paper one was holding a bell and they hold trees or just whatever their personality wants to do. So this little fellow, then you're gonna take his head and glue it right onto the pipe cleaners. So yes, if you're not a vintage lover, you might not get this, but so many of us love going to these antique shows and I'm going to tell you, once you see this and all of the little things that we use to do it, if you go shopping this time of year, you're going to see, oh, thank you for this tart. Oh, there's 900 stars. Is that right? Oh, my glasses on. Holy moly, thank you. Thank you for the stars. See? She says she gets stars. Well, Martha May Huvier can get stars too. <laughs> I mean, let's just face it. Okay. 
So I'm going to make this little fellow. I really want him because I was trying to match his hat. There, oh, I did get it free. So I'm gonna say, like, this is an awesome pipe cleaner. I'm going to save that little puppy. You guys, I'm gonna read your comments, I promise you. I promise you, I promise you. I will read your comments. I just don't wanna do it right now because I don't wanna run out of time. And as you can see, I'm a little chatterbox. So, um, you know, especially when we start talking about the Grinch, please. What a hunk of burning love, right? Um, yeah kind of have a thing for him. <laughs> Don't tell Augustus. I would never admit that to him. But to you girlfriends, I can. So here you go. He's going to hold a vintage ornament in his hands. Okay, I better glue him. To, I better glue that though. I don't want it to fall. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue inside of his hand here. And then I'm going to lay this in. Oh, and then I'm going to lay that in there so he can hang on to it better in case he needs a little help. Okay, there we go. Now, um, and just do I just want to put his other hand? Oh, I don't know. We'll just we'll just have his other hand doing nothing. Then you want to bend his feet like this, okay? And then he's got little feet, okay? All right. Then oh yeah, you can see me. Okay. All right, then I have some seam binding. Um, those of you that follow Tammy's page, you all know about seam binding, and those in my group especially know about seam binding. Um, we use it on almost every project we do. It is a vintage ribbon that can be wrinkled up and stained, and it's pretty inexpensive. For, you know, you it's like $17 a roll, but you get how many yards do you get? I don't know if you're even interested. Um, I could put a link for it. Let's see here. Uh, oh, I'm not seeing it. 100 yards. There it is. You get 100 yards. So that's a pretty, that's not bad. And it's, 100 yards is a lot of seam binding. It'll last you forever. Um, okay. So, and I can teach you how to crinkle it up and make it awesome instead of how it comes on the roll because you really want that vintage. Oh. This is the hardest part. This ribbon is so fine and I need this bow to be so tiny. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna try and give him like little shoes, I guess, or oh, please. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to try shoot tie shoes. But I didn't wanna do them ahead of time. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, and then let me just snip snap that so it's not too big. But I love that it's kind of color coordinated with his hat. So let me do another shoe and then I want to show you how you make the hanger. And I'm hoping to make maybe three or four of these with you. Um, I did a lot of chatting there in the beginning. So, um, yes, I found the little faces on Etsy, but you can find them at antique shops right now. Even like the, the, Antique shops that usually don't have anything will have small Christmas treasures. Um, the little mercury glass bulbs and the, the um, shiny brights they're called. Um, just all sorts of treasures. And like the tins that we make in Tammy's group. Um, oh, I'm a terrible tire. Hang on, I'll get it. First I'm looking through a pile of feathers here. Oh, for pity's sake, hang on, hang on, hang on. There, I got it. I got no, I didn't. Oh, for Pete's sake. Fat fingers. There we go. There we go. I got it that time, but I don't want it up on his kneecap. Hang on. Let me pull it down here a little bit. Okay. Um, I'll show you some of the tins we've been making in Tammy's group. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And again, it's all with vintage things that you can find or new things that you can make look vintage. So there's his little shoes. And then we're just gonna put a little hanger on him, which again, we're using seam binding. The seam binding, you guys can find the link in my um, link tree. You can uh, message me and I can put a link for you. I can send you a link. Um, if you wanna join my private group and learn how to make all of these vintage treasures. There's so many. We've been doing projects since 2019, February of 2019. All of the videos are in there. And um, all the videos are in there from when we very first started the group. And there are some beautiful, really beautiful vintage treasures. And um, we'd love to have you join us. So let's see, you know, I'm one of those, um, I don't know, kind of unique, I guess. Um, we do three videos a month minimum. Sometimes I do a lot more. This month I've done a lot more, I believe. 
um, anyway, okay, there we go. So now he's got his hanger. So let me show you how I'm going to do my tree, just so you can get a better idea. So I know this isn't a typical tree, but this is a great sort of a Whoville looking tree. And I'm just going to hang my little vintage people all over my tree. And I really want my original, the real one, not the one I've been making, but the very real one. I want him front and center because he's just amazing. Um, he's really, it's really cool. I, he could be, I don't even know how old he could be, but these are like, you know, 1800s when people were making their own early 1900s. Um, if you research, you'll find them. I'm not kidding. Um, you'll find them. So I thought it would be fun to do a tree of Whovillians and some Santas and that sort of thing. And then we've got some Santas here, maybe just for a little splash of color. Santa could be pulling down the edge here. Can you see? Yeah, you can see a little bit. I figured it would be hard to get it all on, to get it all on here. Okay, I don't really want you front and center because of your color, but yet for this event, I will leave him front and center just for the people that might not get vintage. <laughs> Not everyone loves what Martha May loves. I don't understand it, but it's true. Okay. Okay. So that's what that's what I'm going for for my Whoville tree is a tree full of Whovillians. So let me get this out of the way and let's see if we can't whip up some more. But real quick, let me show you. We made this in my group this morning. So it's it's a vintage porcelain deer. It's a little plastic angel that I found. Um, it's uh, a vintage tin and some trees and greens and we make it all together here's another one on an old hot cocoa um, it's called royal cocoa you can see there on the lid um, I just kept the lid on the front and I made this um, in my group as well so just showing you some things that we do there so anyway um, between the vintage Santa's the, the um, well, the cotton spun Santas have been quite a hit, and then the, our tins, we do, um, we're getting ready to do some, um, oh, tart pans. Um, we've done those before. So anyway, thank you guys. I hope you're all, I hope you're all loving them. So anyway, let's keep rolling. Let's do another fella here. You're going to take your wire cutter. Don't ruin your scissors. Um, Tammy would never let me hear the end of it if I ruined her scissors. Okay. You're going to cut it right in the middle so that your little your little skinnies at the end, you're going to bend it in half. Okay, these pipe cleaners just come from Hobby Lobby. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Um, oh, boy. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, mm, what are you saying? I'm losing the, my length there. I don't, don't need too many twists. Just a couple. <laughs> I'm like all caught up in comments. She warned me if I watch the comments, I'll lose time. So, um She'll probably, I don't know, I'm not going to leave tonight. I'll probably stay with her tonight and leave in the morning. So we'll probably sit down and answer your questions, say hello, answer your, um, your comments, and all that good stuff. So let's do another little fella here. Let's see. I kind of was liking this rust-colored guy right here. I felt like he was very Whovillish, right? Doesn't he? I think so. I think so. Kind of looks like Howard from the bakery. Don't tell Howard I said that. He'd be like, what? I don't look like that. It kind of kind of does. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> I gotta be careful because they're really old. Oh, there, I'm getting them apart now. I kind of want to save these little pipe cleaners. You never know when you can use something old like this. And the tiny little, look how tiny those pipe cleaners are. You just can't buy them. So I don't really want to cut them. I'm sorry, it'll take me an extra second. Oh, we're... We're fantastic on time. It's okay. So we can definitely get a couple more. I should, sorry, I should have these apart, but I wanted you to see how I found them. There's another rusty colored one. He kind of looks like the preacher at the church. <laughs> there you go. Okay, don't tell him I said that either. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so we're just, I'm gonna cut the pipe cleaner off as short as I can with my wire cutters. Okay, and then I'm going to hot glue. So we've made our body, 
And I'm going to hot glue now his head. Oh, he's already got arms. We're gonna have to, hmm. See what I'm going to do with him because he does have arms and I love that color. Okay, let's just see. Maybe I can wrap them around my arms or something. Let's see what we can do with this fellow. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, let's see here what we can do. Kind of make it like, yeah, kind of just wrapping them around and making it look like almost like a, a rust colored candy cane, but it's keeping that color in there. See that? That's what I opted to do. Okay, that's what I opted to do. So we're going to bend his feet just like all the others. We're going to pull his arms in. Now his arms feel a little extra long for his body. So I'm going to take the cutters and just cut them back. Oop, did that hurt? Sorry. Oh, what a ding dong. Okay, then I was at TJ Maxx. Yes, Whoville has a TJ Maxx. And I bought these bulbs, these tiny little bulbs, just for all of these tiny little Christmas projects that I'm doing. Um, it's very hard to find the vintage ones, and uh, they have an orange bulb. Look. So I thought I would have this little fellow carrying a bulb. Um, I know it's not old. It's okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's okay. Um, I love to do the old, but everything on him is old. But I think the bulb is awesome, and I think it's going to make him happy to carry it because it matches his outfit. And then I'm going to make his other hand maybe go, like, underneath the bulb. Like, maybe, like, it's heavy for him. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right. You guys, these are so... These are so fun. And if you're not into vintage, I've shown you a couple of ways. Um, there's another thing that I had. Did I bring it? It was like a little star face. Anything, oh, I must have not brought it over. But um, you, can, you can make them out. They do not have to be old and creepy like the one lady said. <laughs> they can be, they can be sweet, um, but look. Couldn't he live in Whoville? For sure. Um, and then I have some rust colored seam binding here. I just happened to lay out a little sliver. And let's wrap that around his foot. Now I have some Mod Podge and glitter. Um, I was thinking about doing that on one of them for shoes. Um, I did that on a couple of my um, cotton, uh, my cotton spun people. Um, and I really like how that turned out. So hang on a minute and I'll show you those. Whoops, let me show you her shoes, which is what gave me the idea for this. My friend Julie uh, came up with the cotton spun uh, idea and she brought them into my group. So like see her little shoes and her little, oh my gosh, I did more shoes than I thought. Her little shoes, um, they have, a, a, it's old German gl uh, glass glitter, actually like crushed glass. And you can get it in colors. There's another one. She's got glitter on her shoes. Not sure you guys can tell. Uh, but anyway, so I thought it might be cute to glitter some of these shoes. I did um, gold bells. The one guy I was going to glitter. Uh, where are you? Right here. I ended up and just used gold bells that matched the binding on his books. So he was carrying books. And these books came from the, um, oh, from the, the uh, dollhouse section at Hobby Lobby. I love to watch that for little miniature things that you can use. So um, that's those books came from there and then I just painted them and then I added just the little tiny gold stripes on them. So um, just a heads up. You can also watch your fairy garden stuff. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it's a little kitschy, but you can find some things that will work for some of your small projects like this. If you're not like a total has to be old but sometimes boy when it has to be old it gets pricey so I'm okay to add in some new things especially like things that you can make look old it's kind of a cool thing so hi you guys hello I hope you all know my name is Martha May Huvier and I live in Whoville and I'm a friend of Tammy Neff whose page is called Tammy Loves Vintage and um, they're sharing Tammy's page into the sparkle room for an event called um, Sparkle in Whoville. 
And so um, she was kind enough to invite me and Augustus didn't have anything going on after Thanksgiving and um, he couldn't believe I didn't want to go shopping, but we're such good friends. Um, and I thought it would be fun to come and, and actually guest host her event for her. I thought, I thought that would be just cool, right? <laughs> kind of hope the Grinch sees me because, you know, I've already told you he just melts my heart, <laughs> those muscles. And, you know, don't tell Augustus. I know we've already talked about this, but, oh, man, that Grinch is just awesome. I think he's just awesome. Okay, so I'm taking my seam binding now and I'm making a hanger for this little copper orangey colored Whovillian. <laughs> Don't you just want to sing? Like I kind of want to sing. But I, I promised her I wouldn't so I won't. But don't you kind of want to sing the Grinch music? I won't. But I want to. You hear her over there whining about it? No singing. She hates my singing. Okay, here we go. Let's stick this down here. We're going to glue this on. How are we doing? We still have 15 minutes, you guys. This is amazing. I'm doing great. Okay. So here's another little fellow. I might need to glue him a little bit higher up. Let me pull him on up and see if I can make him hang a little straighter. I think holding these things makes them heavier in the front. So let me, oops, your bows are in the back there, mister. Let me add a little bit more weight to the bottom of him and see if that will help. Okay, so here's our little, here's our little Whoville ornament. Okay, so cute. Let's put him on the tree with his friends. So here's my little Whoville tree. Isn't it funky fun, right? I think it's just so funky fun. And um, I think that's why I love to live in Whoville. I have chosen that. Oh, you're too close to Santa there, sir. Let's move you over here. Um, I chose to live in Whoville because it is an expressive town where you can kind of be who you really are, even though I know they don't, they just aren't into my antique things. And, you know, I want to remain like the cool girl. So, um, you know, from outside, I do look very um, traditionally who-ish. <laughs> but inside, I have things like this funky fun um, branch that I am filling with little Whoville people. So let's see, here's another guy. What does he, oh, he's got a little book and it says Noel. Look at him, can you see that? That's cool. Okay, and he's, oh, look how they've twisted his, that's cool too, but I can't, I can't use it. I'm not gonna undo it though. I'm gonna save it for another project and we're going to put his head on a body. So let's make another body. I tried, you guys, I tried to bleach these and I also tried to tea stain them. I cannot get the red to tone down so I'm not really going to use um, those. I'm going to stick with the tea dyed ones but I thought I would show you you know that I tried. Um, they, You can get different colors of these. I, I think I would just if you don't want to go to a Hobby Lobby and look at the pipe cleaner section you might be able to type in um, furry pipe cleaners maybe, fuzzy pipe cleaners fat pipe cleaners, I don't know. Um, but they're actually like an old thing. So, okay, so I folded it and I cut it in half and I fold it in half and then I'm turning it. Um, do I have a photo? Uh, yes, everything's in my private group. Um, I, I do have a, an, in, uh, oh, I have an Instagram, but a, a YouTube page, oh, well, Tammy does. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy does. And uh, you can go to Tammy Loves Vintage on YouTube and there's like 600 literally videos there and just type in the Santa and maybe you can find it there. Um, but the the cotton spun Santas, if that's what you're talking about, they are not because we just made those in the group this month. And I usually wait a year before I take it. Oh, she waits a year. Sorry. She waits a year before she brings them to her main page, uh, Tammy Loves Vintage. 
so okay I have this part number oh here's the other part okay so I put it in the back it doesn't you put it in the front put it in the back however you want um I wonder if you what does it say I wonder if you can I don't I don't know what you mean by that. I've tried to bleach the red. If you have an idea how I can get my red toned down, I would love that because it's just too strong. It's not very vintage. I'm just making it for the color lovers out there. Um, and I'll probably take it off of my tree here when I take it home. Um, Augustus is gonna not probably like the red either. He kind of likes my vintage. And I'll hang it on my tree. I have another tree that's all reds and greens and it's all vintage and I shared that, or Tammy shared that on her page before um so you could check that out it's all vintage um antique things that she has found and decorated with oh look yeah i'm gonna so he's got like all of this stuff happening in the back so i'm gonna put that loop like right here and make his head be up higher than the others i'm going to do that for him so let's just put the glue on his body instead of his the back of his head and i want to try and just work it in where it feels right like right there and he's holding his book so that's kind of odd hmm am I gonna have to pull the book off or can I just cross his oh that's kind of weird that he's holding a book hmm. I've got to take that off oh I don't want to oh look he's got his arms folded okay hang on hang on we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the other one okay let me see if I can save this little, it's like a tinfoil, mm, I don't think that I can. So, okay, let me see, can I fold his hand back? How can I do this? Um, oh, how about that? That's about the best I can do to make it look like he's holding it. And then let's go in here. Oh, wait, let me take this pipe cleaner that was original to him and wrap it around his arm here. So if you just buy like the snowman head, I just did a couple of them that weren't vintage-ish just to, you know, for people that weren't into the vintage part of it, but still would like to make little handmade ornaments. Um, and I think they turned out really cute. So I will do, um, hmm, I wonder if I wanna do the gold or I could do gold bills. I have this little gold wire. Um, I have these little gold, you know, glitter balls. But I think what I want to use is teeny tiny, which they always go to the bottom, teeny tiny little gold bells like I used on the Santa. No. <laughs> okay, where's the gold one? Ooh, that's really little. That's too little. I want them to show up. There's a gold one, but I think that's too big. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know that's a dirty trick that I did it in the group and not on my page, but um, it will be on my page. Next year, we'll bring them out and show how to do them. Stained, the red, not, not star. Okay, um, no, they came red. I did not stain them. They came red like that. So I did not. Oh, are these too big? These are bigger than the other ones. Oh, they're okay. I don't have any bright yellow seam binding. They make it, I'm sure, to match his hat, but I don't have any. So, oh, where'd my bell go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Pulling underneath the ribbon. So have I showed you everything I really wanted to? I have about five minutes. Um, put a little hanger on the back here. Whoops. I wanted to make a pink girl. I you could just do this all night. You, guys. you literally could just do this all night. So there he is. I wish I had, hmm. I was gonna say for a little belt. Um, here's this green. Pipe cleaner that we took off of one of their those people. Let's see if we can make a little green belt, maybe. A little green belt, okay. And then he's got the bells on his feet, okay. And then he needs a hanger. And then, um, I don't know if I'll have time to do one more or not. Uh, I 
probably should take time. Yeah, <laughs> send Earl out. <laughs> Earl is Tammy's uh, shipping manager. Earl Shivers is his name, and his wife's name is Sylvia, and they call her Silly. And Earl comes on from time to time to either thank the girls for the orders from my live sales, from Tammy's live sales, or um, to tell them something they need to know about shipping or whatever. So the girls that on my page have become quite fond of Earl, AKA Tammy, <laughs> in costume. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you all knew that, right? Hopefully all of my followers knew. I know you did. I know you knew. But yes, Earl's quite the, quite something. He's a great shipping manager. Okay, here's this one. So, let's take a quick look back at all of them that we made and all of them that I, um, oh, there, here, let's hang him up. Well, Tammy and I will fix this up. <laughs> it gets a little bit better. But yes, and then she will post pictures of this. Oh, you like my hair? Well, thank you. Or, you know, I'm Martha May, right? <laughs> I'm Martha May Huvier. Um, yes, I'm Martha May Huvier, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will uh, let Tammy know because she did my hair for me. <laughs> so I'll let her know that you like it. But here we are, here's another close up of our little Santa people and our little Whoville people that we made today. And I hope that you all enjoyed this. It was so nice to meet all of you. And we have just a few minutes left. So if you are ever interested in home decor, um, you know, there's no one that quite decorates like Martha May. And um, I, I've taught Tammy everything she knows. So Tammy has a website and it's called TammyLovesVintage.com. It's the name of the page that uh, I am presenting in. And so you're always welcome to shop there. Uh, no, my husband actually really loves Earl. <laughs> they like to hang out together. <laughs> oh my God, look at that, I have feathers everywhere. Feathers. Feathers, more feathers. Oh my gosh, more feathers. Look, there <laughs> are feathers everywhere. I'm falling apart. Uh, okay, so what do I have? Four minutes? Oh my gosh, can we? Let's try. Let's try one more, just for, just for the heck of it, because I really want to do one with a little black in it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you guys, I will read your messages. Now listen, I can only answer 100 people, and then Facebook will shut me down for two or three days. So, you know, those of you that are kind or whatever, I'll hit the little like button and you'll know that I saw your comment. But if you have a true question or something, I will answer those first. And then um, I just don't want to get kicked off because I have a lot of crafting to do in my group. It's called Tammy's Making. You can find it on our website, TammyLovesVintage.com. And um, you can find us there and um, you're able to join. It's $15 a month. We would love to have you. And, uh, oh gosh, yeah, I didn't think about all of these fellows having arms, but they do, which is kind of cool. I think wrapping them is the best uh, deal, really. So I'm just gluing the back of his head, and then I've got my little body that I just showed you how to do. I hope you guys caught that. I kind of whipped that out fast. Uh, people are... Uh, People are messaging me here, um, uh, texting. Um, they asked where I found the heads, and I found this bundle of heads on Etsy. Um, this bundle of heads on Etsy, and then I found this little bundle of loose heads like this at an antique show. Um, I was at an antique show, and I came across, I think it was like $25. They're, ex they're expensive, you guys. You just don't even know. They are very, very, very old. Um, so I would try to be old and use old things when we can on the page. Um, but we do a lot of decorating. We do a lot with, um, with the items on our website. So I'd love for you to check that out. Okay, so I just wrapped the pipe cleaner that came with the head. You may not have a pipe cleaner with your heads that you find. And remember that you can do new faces. Like I love how this snowman turned out. I love how he turned out and I gave him can you see that head? You recognize those uh, little heads. I found that at Hobby Lobby. Here they are. 
and they have a little string hanging on them like that and you just cut the string off um, I had to buy a whole bunch of little people for that but um, what do I want him to hold um, I could have about a minute there's a peachy orangey yeah let's do it okay so let me put a little bit of glue on his arm um, but you can find, just look for anything little, but mostly if you're looking on Etsy, type in um, cupcake toppers, vintage cupcake cupcake toppers. Um, that's a great way to find some of these little uh, items. Or type in um, vintage Christmas. You can find things that way. So then what I want to do, I don't have any more of that rust out, but I have, do I? I don't see it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to tie little rust bows on him to match the rust color like the other guy that we did. So anyway, you guys, I think I've got about a minute left, which is just enough time to say goodbye, farewell, adios, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're ever, you know, in uh, Whoville, make sure you look me up. My name is Martha May Huvier, and I'd love to hang with you. You know? Come on over. <laughs> what do I got? I still have 30 seconds. <laughs> so come on over. <laughs> hang out with Martha May. Um, yeah, everyone can use a new friend and um, I'd love to be your new friend. And, um, you know, if you're ever online, you might want to check out Tammy at Tammy Loves Vintage. She's, she's not so bad either. So, have a great night, you guys. Enjoy, enjoy the Sparkle Room and all of the events that they have. And once you're in there, be sure you look for the old events. I've been in many, I think I've been in all of them, but one, I think I missed out on one of them. Um, so you can find Tammy Loves Vintage, not, not Martha May, but Tammy. Tammy has. <sighs> I'm terrible. Okay. Uh, yep. Time to go. You guys, be sure you watch all of the other presenters. They've been amazing and it's going on all day tomorrow, even longer. Um, it's going on even longer. You just have to get over to the Sparkle Room and if you scroll through a page, you'll find the links where I have linked you uh, or given you like an easy link to the Sparkle Room. Thanks for watching. It's nice to meet all of you. I will be answering all of your questions. Thank you for joining me, uh, Tammy and me. <laughs> and, uh, here's Martha May Huvier signing off. Bye-bye.